Hot springs on Earth often host microbial communities that produce biofilms in their outflow channels. Sometimes when hot springs dry up, they leave behind fossilized streamers, which look a lot like the features in a rock found by Perseverance. On this episode of Mars Guy. Late last month, Perseverance drove back to a location where it previously made an abrasion patch with its arm-mounted drill and abrading bit. Here's Mars Guy for scale. Apparently, there was something interesting enough in the data to warrant a return, a sort of double take for the rover. On this second visit, it got another shot with the MassCam Z camera of a small rock just in front of the wheel that made me do a double take. That's because its texture looks strikingly similar to what I've seen on Earth in rocks referred to as silica sinter deposits that form from hot springs. Hot spring sinter deposits are a sort of holy grail in Mars exploration because they can preserve evidence of the microbial life that once lived there. Here's an example in southern Utah in the U.S. where hot springs were active until they dried up in the late 1950s. They left behind layered sinter deposits with a range of textures, many of which result from the microbial communities that inhabited the spring waters. I came across rocks with beautiful examples of what's called streamer fabric, a clear indication of the former presence of microbial life. An active hot spring I visited in Chile provides a nice example of what the streamers look like in action. They're made of the goo, properly called extracellular polymeric substances, that are secreted by microorganisms living in the water, most commonly cyanobacteria. Hot spring waters are usually rich in opaline silica, a kind of hydrated amorphous quartz that can precipitate on and around the streamers. If the conditions are right, this leads to their preservation in the rock record, and this leads us back to Mars. This little rock has the same kind of streamlined texture that's the hallmark of streamer fabric in sinter deposits, but that's certainly not enough to declare life on Mars. Looking around at other rocks in this scene, it becomes apparent that many of them have thin linear ridges that look a little bit like the streamer fabric, but they're straighter and look more like wind-sculpted forms. Also noteworthy is the gray color of the rocks underneath the lighter and redder dust. This is not the color of sinter deposits, which typically are much whiter. The really key feature, though, is the composition. Unless these rocks are made of opaline silica, they're not a good candidate for hot spring sinter. Perseverance has multiple instruments that can identify composition, and it's safe to assume that the team did not find opaline silica here or in the nearby abrasion patch, otherwise they would have made an effort to drill a core sample. So the streamer fabric lookalike rock is an example of how some combination of rock characteristics and wind erosion can lead to a deceptive result, one good enough to make me do a real double take. <laughs>